Greetings fellow fig lovers, Lance here, ready to do another fig tasting, this time on the LSU Scots Black. Here's the LSU Scots Black fig tree, and though it's almost seven foot tall, it doesn't seem to be doing especially well this year. I think this one is, is just particularly hurt by the lack of water. But it is uh, it's actually only put out three figs this year. And one has only already been totally annihilated by the ants. It's history. And this one is uh, a fairly decent size. Again, the ants are already getting to it. This one has shrunk up a bit. It wasn't quite as large to begin with, and it's already shrunken. And I went ahead and ordered some Tanglefoot today. I am just sick and tired of these ants. I have got to get this rectified. I would actually leave this on longer if it weren't for the ants. It, it is shriveling up, but I suspect that could hang for quite a while longer, but not with the ants. Let's take a look at some of the, the leaves. I'm not sure how large the leaves typically are on LSU Scott's Black. These seem fairly small. I don't see any that are a decent size, but that just may, may be the variety or it may be low on zinc I don't know I originally got this as a cutting from mountain figs it's been in the ground two years it did die back and it's really struggled this year without water so let's go ahead and get, get this picked yeah see that took a little effort for it to come off Let's take a closer look yeah I would have definitely let this hang longer but it's probably not going to be bad there was no sap that uh, came out when I picked it it's definitely been shriveling up there's even a little bit of crackling just a bit and then the eye though small is definitely open a couple of ants have come out since I've picked it got some a uh, little bit of speckling here yeah typically if the neck is a little green it's not necessarily bad but usually that indicates it could probably ripen a little bit better At least condense the flavors better so let's put it on the scale this seems kind of small almost 13 grams that's pretty small so let's open it up well that is actually not too bad looking I'm not quite sure how the colors coming through on the video but it's fairly red fairly juicy actually I'd say very juicy the eye actually appears conical even though I saw a couple ants come out they must have been stuck right here but they would have made quick work of this like I said I've already lost one fig to the ants Looks like uh, numerous seeds, though small. So let's give this a little uh, taste. Not half bad. Immediately, I noticed the texture. 
this is a texture unlike any other fig I've ever had. It reminded me of cream of wheat. That was the texture. It's moderately sweet. Numerous seeds. And in this particular instance, I didn't even like chew. I just kind of massaged it around through my mouth. Definite berry flavor, but I'm not sure if I could nail down the specific berry. It's pretty good. And I can see how this fig, if it really dried up a bit, could really rock. The berry flavor is slightly different than my other berry flavored figs. I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try this again, see if I can maybe nail down the flavor a bit. Well, I'm having just a little bit of difficulty nailing down that berry flavor, but it is quite good. This fig is definitely a keeper for me. The, the skin seems to be thick enough that this could dry on the tree. If I could just keep the ants away, this should shrivel up nicely. It's a very nice tasting fig, very pleasant, very interesting texture. And uh, yeah, this is a keeper. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe down over here. If you like this video, please let us know over here. We'd appreciate you sharing this video, any of your fig loving friends, or maybe as a way of introducing them to figs. And then of course, uh, we always welcome comments, feedback below, especially your experience with the LSU Scott's Black. Thanks a bunch for watching. Be well.